Hey, welcome back to Sapper Woodworking. So for today's video, a friend of mine asked me to make a couple of handles for these little pepper grinder mills he had uh, purchased online. And I got two little handles I need to make. They're about two and a half inches square by four inches long would be the rough cut piece of stock or about 65 mil, mil, millimeters by about 105 millimeters. Now I've got this rather huge piece of cherry that came out of his uh, stack of firewood it's been out and aged, uh, looks pretty, pretty bad, but um, hopefully we can square this piece up and there'll be some, some nice cherry wood deep inside this, this weather piece. And hopefully I'll have enough wood left over at the end to make a, a handle like this for a brand new three eighths inch uh, bowl gouge that I have. So we're gonna first take this over to the joiner and we're all flatten one side and square up the opposite side. And that'll give us a good idea of the, the quality of the wood we have in here, make sure we have no, no insect damage or interior rotting. So we'll take this over to the joiner and see what we have. About a half hour later, we uh, took our rough piece of firewood, squared it up on the joiner. I took it over to my bandsaw and we sliced it up into, I got about four. Uh, these are about two and three quarter by two and three quarter blanks. They're gonna be fine for tool handles and my project. However, even though these have been drying for uh, almost a couple of years, my moisture meter is still telling me these are about 17 18 percent moisture content which is still going to be too high so what i'm still going to do is uh cut these down to size rough turn them on the lathe get the hole drilled and uh, try quick drying these in the microwave i've read about that i've never actually tried it and we'll see if we can get that moisture down relatively quickly and end up uh, making our our grinder handles Okay, so I've got my moisture meter out, and these moisture meters are really designed to work on a flat surface. So if I stick this on top of the cylinder, as I roll it, I get up to maybe 21% moisture and it starts to drop again. So that'll be my unscientific measurement on moisture. And then 
will weigh this guy and it comes out at 233 grams. So what I'm gonna do is put this in the microwave on a defrost low setting for about 45 seconds at a time and uh, retake the weight and see what happens. Okay, so I've now put my testing blank in the microwave uh, five separate times at about a minute and 15 seconds on defrost mode. And let's see what the moisture meter is reading again by rolling it. Okay, that one topped out at 15%, which I think the other one was uh, as high as 21%. I'm going to weigh that, and we're at 203 grams, and we were at 233 grams. So it's lost 30 grams of weight by microwaving it five separate times at about a minute and 15. So let's try it about five more times at a minute and 15. So for the second run through in the microwave, I actually uh, ran it five separate times at a minute 45 with a power setting of five. And that brought the weight down to about 180 grams. So overall, I was able to microwave out about 53 grams of water and that works out to roughly about a 23% drop in relative weight. And my uh, moisture meter, which I don't have on video, was showing about 10 to 11% moisture uh, in the blank. And that's still a little bit high, but uh, I think that's fine for my purposes of uh, finishing these uh, little wooden holders for the pepper mill. So just a, a word of warning that, of course, everybody's microwaves have different power levels. So even though I, I ran the second batch on five on my microwave, setting a five, I would certainly uh, take it easy, add minutes slowly, and add power slowly. So you don't have any uh, unfortunate accidents. Uh, I actually took the third uh, prototype blank that I made. And I decided just to keep increasing the power and time and see how, how hot I could get the thing. And at one point, it actually started crackling inside, and a little bit of smoke came out of it. And ended up, uh, once it cooled off, ended up cutting it in half. And you could actually see some of the interior wood starting to charcoal and uh, potentially, you know, set itself up to catch fire. So just be careful when you're doing this process. Apparently, it does work. And that you can actually dry wet wood in your microwave. I certainly think the next time I, I try to make a bowl out of uh, green wood, I'm going to go ahead and try to dry that in the microwave and that will probably take uh, quite a bit longer but we'll go through the testing process on that and see what happens but good luck thanks Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please write them below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please click the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel as well, both of which really help our channel metrics within the YouTube community. Thanks.